you can type in the chat or uh, raise your hand and speak. Any understanding on, on the challenge and also your understanding uh, and any questions. So have any of you gone through the challenge document? Yes, okay. Thank you, Junior, for uh, sharing your understanding. So basically, you are right. Uh, we want you guys to understand the data and also how to do a change point analysis in each of uh, timeline. So for example, let's say there is a political uh, disrupting some, somewhere. For, so for example, you can take uh, Russia-Ukraine wars and understand what was uh, what was the effect on print oil, oil prices. So, does that have an effect? So where was the change? So that's what you have to do. So I'll just uh, start uh, the intro. Then. So yeah, if you have any question, make sure to type it in the chat or raise your hand and speak. Okay, uh, so I hope you can hear me clearly now. Uh, okay, uh, so we just immediately start. I hope you can see my screen and everything is kind. So uh, this week's main goal is uh, to study how important events affect brain oil prices. So brain oil prices, uh, you can find it on Kaggle. Uh, there is a data set that uh, includes uh, daily um, change of prices on brain oil. So, so this you have to focus on finding out how uh, any change will affect uh, brain oil prices and how they are linked. So maybe it might be political decisions or it might be any change in the opaque policies or opaque keys or organization of petroleum exporting countries. So these are the countries that actually export in. Uh, Petroleum. So, for example, their policy change, how is it affecting the price? We have to understand this and so we have to connect it in from real world perspective. So, you, just, you don't just analyze the data and understand the data. So, the data only contains two columns. So, two columns. So, which means that you need an, an extra data to do the, the core analysis or the core, uh, if the core change that actually affects the price. So, now you are a data scientist at Brehan Energy. So this is a leading consultancy firm specializing in data driven and strategic advice to stakeholders, especially in the energy sector. So, so with that mission, we want to help clients to navigate the complexity of global energy markets. So for example, let's say how now you get to understand how how complex it is, how complex uh the market is and how what affects what and how it is affecting it so now you are tasked with analyzing how how political and uh, okay how political and uh economic policy change are affecting the prices so let's say uh, there is a war as i mentioned earlier how ukraine and russia were affected uh, the brain oil prices, how COVID affected the brain oil prices, how any policy change in OPEC countries affected the uh, price. So you, you have to uh, actually 
understand, have to understand these changes and also have to gather information about these changes when they occurred and how the price were, were spiked or might or might stay the same. So now you can conclude there is no change based on that actually uh, based on that policy change or based on that uh, particular event or particular circumstance. So since the market is very unstable, uh, but it is really hard to make good decisions. So now you have to try to propose the good decisions based on the analysis and we shall have low risk and max maximum returns in the in, in their investment. So you have to understand how political decisions, conflicts and any other sanctions or OPEC policy chains affect the oil price. So when we so the the your your main task is finding key events that have significant uh, has that have significantly impact, impacted Brent oil prices over the past decade. So you, the data is from 1987. You might uh, you, you can move uh, around two decades or three decades since the data uh, spans over more than three decades, and you, you can measure how these events affect how much this events affect the price change, and also you have to provide clear data driven insights to guide the strategies and also policy development and op operational planning. So the given data is uh, from Brent oil price data, so you can find it in the link and Brent oil prices and it includes two columns. So for example, uh, the first one is date and the second one is price. So date represents the date recorded, uh, the date of the recorded Brent oil price, which means each entry is formatted as day, month, year. So which means, so for example, 20 May 87 means 20, 20th of May in 1987. So covers daily prices from May 20, 1987 up to September 30, 2022. So we have a lot of uh, data there. And the price is the column, this column represents the print oil price, the price of the print oil price on the corresponding date. So now we want you to understand uh classical modeling standard Bayesian modeling and also uh any other related package and having at the end we expect you all to have the, the knowledge of probability distributions Bayesian inference monte carlo markov chain so this is uh monte i mean monte carlo markov chain is just a method for sampling a probability distribution based on constructive constructing a markov chain so markov chain is based on each of each chains have their own states and it is represented by that state so you you are trying to sample a probability distribution based on that the or that's actually dictated by markov chain you can treat more in, on the references and you have to do model comparison and also policy analysis. So for example, in the probability distribution part, now you have to understand what the data has. So for example, is it uh, binomial? Is it normal distribution? Is it poison distribution? So it, it, so it might be your data lies in uh, poison distribution since it's, it is, uh, it can't be binomial since it doesn't have uh, trials. So, for example, let's say uh, for health, health and health, it, you, it, it might be uh, it might be binomial distribution, but for this one, it might, it's uh, poison. So you you try to uh, choose any relevant distribution that is uh, correct, and also for by uh, the Bayesian reference, you have to try to understand how uh, Bayesian inference works. So how the hypotheses are are treated as evidence so for example let's, we are uh, we are trying to find uh, what are the effects of a certain event on the on the price so you have certain hypotheses which means uh, which means there is an effect a, a cause and effect so for you have to test the result hypothesis and you have to try uh, to apply any uh, Bayesian inference on it and yeah so the objective uh, would be uh, 
to define your data analysis workflow. So now you are on week 10 of your uh, uh, artificial intelligence mastery program. So now we have, we want to understand how you understand any approach on data analysis. So for example, we want to, uh, we want you to create a, a workflow and a framework that is solid enough to, that, that can be applied in any scenario. So for example, the first part would be how do you define your data analysis workflow? So you have to clearly outline steps and process that you have to follow for this particular project. And you, the, each process has to be comprehensive uh, of, like, it has to be enough, you have to understand it enough to, in order to explain how the data is generated and sampled and compiled. And you have to understand model inputs, parameter and outputs, identify states and any assumptions and any limitations. And you have to determine main media channels and formats for communicating. And so this is a basic data uh, science workflow. So we want you to create a workflow that is uh, clear and comprehensive. So the next would be understanding the model and data. So, so you have to make sure to read the references related to this project. So what are the model being used? So you have to familiarize yourself with models suitable for time series, series analysis, such as ARIMA, GASH, and you have to relate them to the print oil price data. And uh, next would be you have to explain the purpose and application of this, this models. And the next would be to identify the process that generates the data and how this, this model by the chosen time series model. And the next would be to describe the expected outputs and limitations. So this is the basic data science workflow and you have to apply your, you have to integrate your each steps into this. And the next task would be to adapt the knowledge for the task one. So you, you, now you understood your model, you understood your data. Now the next would be to apply knowledge. So based, based on the build, the build foundational knowledge and understanding of the time series analysis you have developed in task one the next would be to apply that knowledge to analyze the historical brain value price uh, data and now you, you you will utilize additional statistical econometric models as needed to refine your analysis so this means you have to explain to explore advanced time series models con consider uh Region switching models like uh, Markov switching, Arima, and others to capture some uh, different market market conditions. And the next would be to implement machine learning models uh, like uh, LSTM networks for capturing complex uh, complex patterns. So now you have to let's say you have you have collected some data, some uh even data and now so uh check where those are affected or not since we, we, we only have two uh since we only have two columns in our data we need more data so the next would be to explore other potential factors that are influencing uh, oil prices so for example economic indicators technological change and political and the regulatory factors. So the first economy could be GDP. So you have OPEC countries and try, try to understand the GDP and uh, how it is affecting the oil price, inflation rates, unemployment rates. You have to investigate the relationship between unemployment rates in certain countries. So just focus on, for now, the OPEC countries, since uh, mostly those are the huge uh affecting ones and the technological change would be advancement in extraction technologies renewable energy development so for example let's say uh wind turbine energies or uh thermal uh energies uh there are solar energies how they are affecting the print oil price and also political and regulatory factors such as environmental regulations and also trade policies so what are the policies that have actually affected the print the oil price to either to increase or decrease? 
and now you are you adapt you the model to a new scenario which means the next would be applied analysis framework to different scenarios and related data sets so you extend the, your analysis to other commodities and related markets such as natural gas and coal so now you understood the effect of some circumstances or some certain scenarios now the next would be to compare it to other uh, to other markets and you compare and contrast factors influencing different energy markets not just print oil so now the next would be to extend the model to into to incorporate new variables and or data source so integrate additional data source let's say reports advancements and like this is just uh, how you apply the above part so how you add, apply one two and three so that would be the suggested approach or the, the suggested steps you should take so now you extend your model and the next would be to validate the model's performance in predicting future price movement and other outcomes and make sure to include some as mentioned here make sure to include some macroeconomic variables and in and this is to enhance the model's predictive power so the suggested approach is you do a data collection so comprehensive uh, data collection on economic indicators technological challenges I mean change and political uh, factors the next would be to utilize reliable source such as world bank IMF, IEA and industry reports to gather those data and you, 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 pro, you pre process those data and you do an EA so now you build a model you evaluate the model and you generate an insight so all task and task one and two can be uh, incorporated here so now you evaluate your model and next you inside you generate an insight so we will have a data science workflow tutorial which is be which will be given by yaya a change point analysis will be give, given by carrot and Bayesian inference and monte carlo markov chain will be given by Predit. so you will have as always we will have uh, two interim sub, two submissions so on the interim submission make sure to uh, include uh, all task one most of your data science workflow in, in the interim report and in the github code just make sure you have uh, the updated branch in the final submission write a blog post in medium and submit the link and your link to your github as always for the final submission of code and we have tried to uh, include any uh, relevant resources here so make sure to dive through this and go through other resources that you might you you might find important or uh so if you have any question you can just raise your hand and ask or type in the chat I think Matthias, you just joined late. Maybe if you have any question, you can ask. Or if, if you understand it well, well uh, it's better if you write your understanding with the chat box. Or if you have any question, just type that in the chat box too. Okay, Junior, uh, thanks for sharing. Um, okay, so I understand Junior, Hafton, and Matthias. Do you have any question or are, uh, is it clear? Okay, uh, 
Okay, uh, thank you guys. Uh, make sure to follow the suggested approach. And if you have any question, make sure to uh, share it on Slack and you can just be in one of the tutors or you can just share this uh, question on the weekend channel and also on the uh, general channel. Uh, thank you guys. I'll just stop the recording and in the call.